So the 19th of June every year is set aside to commemorate the World Sickle Cell Day. According to reports, over 300,000 babies are born with the sickle cell disease every year, and Nigeria has the highest burden of sickle cell disorders in the world. Joining us on the show is the medical director and a family physician, Dr. Benjamin Oluo Jabutu. Thank you for having me. And also we have the producer, Dazley Miraj Tundikilani. Welcome, sir. Thank Good you. Good to have you. <laughs> so you can join the conversation 70 You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your TVC so we can read your tweets. Every year we discuss sickle cell. What's special about this year's celebration? Let me let you go, sir. Oh. What's, what's, what's the, what's, <laughs> because every year we discuss sickle cell. What, what, why, why is Dazley Miraj involved in this Projection. Uh, for me, right. I mean, it's important that Nigeria must take part in the commemoration of what we consider every year. Right. And I'm particularly delighted that TVC has given us the opportunity to be part of that celebration right. and to screen Dazi Mirage tomorrow. You know, this is a theme that should be seen, right. and every home should have a copy of Dazi Mirage. And this is you know, right. why we're I here. mean, we saw Dazi Mirage when it, when it launched, and it was about this child, this lady that was, um, had the disease and how she was able to overcome the challenges, the life's, life's challenges generally. Mm -hmm. But let me come to you, doctor. Sickle, sickle cell, um, in a nutshell, a lot of people, we know what it is in Nigeria because we talk about yeah. it every time, but for those who are still iffy about it, could you just tell us exactly what it is again and why it's so important to commemorate this day? One of the things, uh, thanks for having me, right, and, and the ladies, thanks. You, you're, you're all looking very beautiful today. <laughs> um, one of the things I want to, I want to dissuade him is normal is to call these people sick sicklers. Mm. It's one thing that, are, that has been problems for a long time in Nigeria. They mm. call them sicklers, and that's not the truth. They are human beings living with sickle cell disease, you know, mm. so just, just them, that happened to them. You know, it's just an inborn uh, error, inborn, in, inborn, um, inborn error from um, genetic problems. So. You have a woman that is AS, a man that is AS, married themselves. Mm -hmm. The sickling traits, just the sickling trait of the other of, 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 the, of the man and the wife come together and becomes SS. That's why they are sickle cell carriers, sickle cell um, disease. So they are not sicklers. I've seen people that have done very very well in their lives. They are, you know they are 70, um, 75 because they've done very very vital things. So to this particular year is important for enlightenment to the people. People should know clearly that they are not sicklers. They can live proper life if they pay attention to their health properly. Right. And that's why we're celebrating it this time. So talking about errors, uh, genetic errors, as we say, a lot of people have, we've, we've actually had someone who seemed a bit um, on the show, who seemed a bit uh, combative concerning fighting this sickle cell. Yeah. Because he was of the opinion that the ones that are being born now are born purposefully. By their parents, they understand that they have this error, as you call them, and then they still go intentionally go ahead to have children, knowing the the pain that they would go through. Uh, so my own is, what do we do now to stop, you know, the birth of yes, sickle no. cell? Yeah, I think this, yeah. that's the purpose of Dazzling Mirage. I, you know, was minding my, I didn't know until I came across a film. Mm. Um, family affair that was produced in England, uh, the National Health Service, aimed at the black communities. And I thought that this is a film Nigeria should have made. That's so it. the purpose is to create the necessary awareness. And at the end of Dazzling Mirage, we had the suggestion that Nigerians should be tested and they should attend genetic counseling. You know, because if any decision is taken after knowing your status, You'll be that will be based, mm. you know, from uh, from uh, an, uh, in, yeah, uh, educated so. information. Yeah. You know, you, it's now your choice because you know you have had, we have been cancelled, and you can live with it. Partners can come together because they now know any decision they take will be from an informed opinion. Mm. Okay, yeah. okay. Let me ask you, as part of what you are doing, have you considered going to the rural areas? These are largely uneducated people who know next to nothing about gene. Who, know, who mm -hmm. don't even know that sickle cell is an inherited kind of anemia, to educate them, to sensitize them on the need to test. Right choices. Yes, to make the right choice, now, to save their you, children. You know, listen, this is, the doctor is the expert. Yes. <laughs> you know, there are people you know, who are experts in sickle cell anemia and the disorder. I'm just a filmmaker, a storyteller. Okay. I've made this film, but you know, my conscience says that this film has not penetrated 
yeah. by now yeah. I had, you know, what stampeded me into taking the decision to make the film is that I thought that Nigeria, every local government, everywhere should have information right. about sickle cell. Right. So my preoccupation <laughs> now is how do I get this film Across. And this Across is one of the reasons why Nigerians. TVC is trying to push this movie because yes. our reach is huge across the yes, country. Yes, we're right. premiering this movie, I think, to, tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. We're premiering this movie tomorrow so that everybody, those who are uneducated, mm. who watch TV, can see this movie and right. get the information about how important it is to get tested yes. and know your status. So when you're even getting married, you know, okay, this is the reason I why I'm can I, can, I, can I add something? Sorry, yes, okay. from what Uncle TK said. Uh, if you say you love somebody, mm. which is what people say around now. Mm. I'm in love with that lady, I'm in love with that guy. And you, you are AS and, and you find that you're both AS, AS. Mm. If you truly love that person, you will cut off that marriage. Okay. Truly love. But it, as, 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 yes, that relationship, but as, as, as I said, if both of you now decide, okay, we have the resources, we have the well with that, we have the passion to take care of the resultant, some say they live, they live by faith, they live by, you know, that kind of stuff. It's fine, but you must, every child has, you has that is, an, is a life, you said it before, it's an entity, it's a life. Mm. You must give them what they need. Mm -hmm. So if, if, you say, if you say both of us, we are, we are both here, so we want to go into this thing. As a follow-up to that, to what you just said, in today's technology, yes. do we have the ability to test the child's blood while yes. a fetus? Yes, yes. yes. So okay. if you can do that, yes. then can you then take get rid of the pregnancy. No, 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 will be a challenge. challenge for the society. I get your point. And that parent is not the only one who will be responsible for that child's Correct. Um, health. Correct. The entire community, the society, the pressure. So if the parents are selfish in their love for one another mm -hmm. and they don't think that is important, the government has a right to step in and prevent such cases uh, uh, from happening. That's your Excuse me. You know, from, <laughs> well, you know, my point of view, what I learned right. on the way throughout the production of this film is what you are referring to will be, will be referred to as selective mating. And scientifically, it has another problem mm -hmm. because now, Nigeria's number of carriers is about, you know, is about 40 million. We have right. 40 million Nigerians who are AS. Yes. If you did that, you will increase the number of AS, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and if you do that, then something else will result. So, Aha. you, you yes. know, there are other reasons. Well, you know, we as far as we I'll tell you. Marry you. They should be allowed okay. to marry. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. well, since you know, yeah. you, are, you already have the information, mm -hmm. based on that information, mm -hmm. you know how to bring healthy babies right. to life. Okay. Let me, let me Otherwise, it, it is, it, what they call selective mating again has its defects. It has a problem yeah. later. Okay, so, so where, where I was driving at earlier. I, I get your point. Okay, let, let, let me let you. So um, there's something called co um, um, aminosynthesis and um, um, co um, co um, chorion velo sampling that you could do um, about six to 14 weeks of the. Take, you, you go into the woman that is pregnant, you take some blood from the Baby. placenta from, and, and check do a DNA sampling and check one and do everything. And you can do an abortion. It's not legal in Nigeria, obviously, but some people are doing it right now. Mm -hmm. And you know some, some few people that are doing it, but it's not legal. That's what I was driving so, at. So you now can, what must we do? Should we get a legal, a legal framework to empower us to take that decision as, as, a, as a woman? You know that, okay, I can check, I can test my fetus. Mm -hmm. If my fetus mm -hmm. is SS, can I have that choice? To say, okay, I want to exterminate or I want to keep. That is illegal right now. Yes. But we're saying, is this something that will be pushed at the National Assembly? Is that something we should, because if we want to have a realistic mm. approach to this issue of sickle cell, we must look at all the options. Oh, so it makes sense to have a, to, to have a national illegal framework. framework. Right. Um, but you have, to, you have to think, are we ready as Nigerians to do that? Okay. Are we ready as Nigerians to take care of sickle cell? Hold oh, no, on, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Let me take this call. I'll come to you, doctor. Okay. Uh, I think somebody, Titi's been holding from Abuja. Hello, are you there? Mm. Yes, good morning. Morning, Titi. Go ahead, please. Yeah, I'm the first caller, please. Welcome, Welcome. to the show. <laughs> um, I want to contribute. So you are saying you are going to show it to the hotel tomorrow. Mm. Remember that a lot of people don't have access to, to, to light. You see? <laughs> so what should we do? Yeah, that is true. Oh, we can. <laughs> when you compare, I know that things are not working well in this country. Mm. 
I think all we will do is to maybe to church this to mosque to spread it around because mm -hmm. a lot a lot of people don't know about this second cell issue. That's a fantastic point. So this is, that's a fantastic point. So mm -hmm. she's saying that instead of waiting, letting TVC premiere this, mm -hmm. or take it to churches, must where they have a viewing. First of all, my target was to take it to schools, institutions, and we tried on our own, but without the ADK funding, we we can't rely on that model. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I know there has to be another intervention. The first one is broadcast over TVC tomorrow, and then all the other things are followed. The new suggestion. You know, rural areas, no. Let's look at the penetration of mobile devices. Mm -hmm. Can we squeeze the film into every phone? So that anybody, anyway, we we'll talk about that mm -hmm. later. That's a problem. I mean, people can actually download mm -hmm. um, these things online, but. Mm -hmm. I think the lady made a valid point. Lots of people are going to mosques or churches. So, so it's been a nice, a nice viewing every maybe Sunday, once in a while, or Saturday, where everybody so watches. Day, yeah. There's a viewing. Yeah. yeah. Um, nice. Uh, uh, I think it's imperative that we begin to know clearly um, what we want to do as a nation. You know, are, are, we, are we interested in the life of the people? Is there love mm -hmm. as a baseline? Yeah. So if there's love, if you love the nation, if you love your people, you give them the right information that they need, and you give them the, the quality information. Well, the can't help so so, so, I, so I say something. So that's that's, that's where I'm going. Mm. The churches, the mosques, need to get the understanding that they are part of the process mm. of informing the right for the people. So you come and say somebody to do a test. You say, don't you have faith again? It tells you somebody comes to my office and tells me, uh, I have faith. I have faith. I'm strong that the first child is going to be A. I know that a, the A will meet the A. And they are the first child, SS. OK, I say, what happened to your faith? He says, yes, don't worry. God is testing my faith again. Second child, SS. <laughs> then they are four SS. SS. And, and you see, they are miserable. So the, the quality of life has shut down. Oh, All the money that they saved is zero. The kids are not living properly. You see them stunted growth, mental retardation, dehydration every time, a, a, a plastic crisis, pink crisis. And they are, they are unhappy. So they are. They are they are indirectly costing the children. You know, this is a difficult conversation. To have very, very difficult. Because yes. there are people who are surviving this disease. I know, I know, I know. I know and they are doing people. well. Yes. And it's almost like a slap on their face when we make it look as if once you have the disease, it's a, it's a, it's a life no, sentence. No, no, so we must always make it look, no, no, we must always no. so, yeah, make so that difference. That's what I'm saying. Clear. Right information. Right. There are folks that are doing extremely well, doing, doing beautifully, you know, doing excellently well. So if, you're, if you take care of yourself properly, you know, you take a lot of a little water. Mm. That's one thing you should do. Mm. Water every day. You must have like water in your bag, in your bottle, everywhere you're close to water is there. You're, you're hydrated every day. Close to your doctor. Close to your doctor. Are you getting me? Don't have don't, don't, don't mosquito bite at home. So make sure you make sure you make sure make sure you make sure. How the right diet. How feasible is that? So I tell you it's something. It's our economy. No, no, right no, no it's not about economy. It's, it's about environment. Environment. It's about pure water. Pure water. <laughs> you can't drink it. No, so, so the thing is, um, Mariah, I get what you say. Those people who have survived, we, th we thank God for them, they are survivors. Mm. But the thing is, we live in Nigeria. Mm. So first of all, we even need like a government regulation to sort of put in place things that will make it easier for a lot of people to, to survive. Live. So the, those that have survived are not the average I'm Nigerian. For draconian so mm. I am not for draconian. I do not <laughs> think that the government should put in place a lot to stop people from getting no, 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 you can't do that. But you know what I would like Voluntary. I would like for us to do that for every woman that has a baby, wherever she has the baby, whether in the urban area or in the rural area, mm. that a test is done on that baby yes. and the information Early. is given to her immediately Early. and saying so the this is your what does she do? So yeah, she so she knows so she knows yeah. she has the information. She the so, what does she do? So, so, so she will be giving the information. A lot of them don't even know yes. that their children are SS for so, so many years. They're so, going back and forth. So, well, so, so, so I tell you something. I have the call. Let me pause you for a second. Okay, I have a okay. call. Hello, are you there? We have four aces. Hello, yeah. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. <laughs> All right, good morning. Um, good morning, bye. To, yeah, good morning. I just want to make some contributions based on what the doctor said. Um, I'm SC, but I was, um, let me see, I was, it was detected very early. Oh, beautiful. So that, that made um, it possible for me to leave. I'm about 26 now. Amazing. So I'm not visited the hospital for anything. I hardly go to the clinic for anything. Amazing. So I feel one of the um, basic things I learned was um, taking a lot of water. I have this gym water bottle, like two or three, always with me. I go with a, um, a doful bag. Good. I'm always with a cup and a glasses. Excellent. Just to keep calm. Then I take a lot of um, soda water. 
Beautiful. Then um, you know there are stuff you should do and stuff you should not Thank do. You. Yeah. Thank you, you Bio. Not. Thank you. Yeah. Amazing work, yes. yes. Great work. Yes. That's, that's information. That's yes. information. That's, that's just so information. It's information. From the so beginning. I tell you something. So you, you give out a child, and between the the, the, the birth and six months, you can't have his SS or SS well, because there's there's, there's, there's there's fetal hemoglobin that yeah. that shears every, any sickle, yeah. But when it's six months, there's something we find out in children that are called dactylitis. Hands and foot syndrome. Their, their, their hands are getting very they, they're getting very very swollen. Hands and foot are swollen. Eh? Then they have jaundiced eyes. They are yellow. They are, they are not, they, they're, they're not growing properly. Failure to thrive. At that point in time, it's not the devil. Oh. You take them to the hospital and get them tested. So if, if they're not on time, early. You know, someone by you said, I knew early. Right. So the mother is not encouraging them to take, take a lot of water, checking them properly, looking after them, giving them the right, the right food to eat. Vegetables, a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruit, a lot of water. Are you getting me? Not pure water, as I'm cooking together. <laughs> pro, pro, proper water. And those things prevent proper them. Water. I have a personal friend, he's a medical doctor, too. He has never been sick, sick in his life. And he is. And he's SS. He's a, no, he's SS. He's SS. Amazing wow. guy. I get him because he has information. Right. So even, even in our room back in the medical school, we have to flip the room every evening because the father said okay because of him we so all of us uh, we're not part of the caregiver mm. so every evening we must do because of him we flee the room Thank every you, evening but that, that's a vital information yes. because that's the beautiful thing about the dazzling mirage movie yes. that we're about to premiere it, it lets you know that there's information available for you to yes mm -hmm. this disease exists yes. and we can actually seek for this information because the earlier you know about it so it's not about preventing people from getting married mm. It's about providing the information they need to live successful Correct. Um, lives. Yes. That's what the objective is. Yes, yes, yes. 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 So the thing is, for those who have been yeah. born, for right. those who have been born, this is what we should do. But for those who are well, yet mm. to be born, what do we do? Exactly. Yes. We, can't so, be, we can't be faithing to have four SS children. Mm. It's yes. not. It's, it's not wise. We have wisdom is probably able to direct. Every yes. religion will tell you, you know. So we can't. We, we can't be expecting that we would suspend our common sense and right. be hoping that spirituality will solve a problem we created. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because uh, if the government steps in, there can be a coordinated program in the U.S., for instance, the money to extend the lifespan of anybody living with that disorder. I think it was something it under twenty. But now they've declared that people living with sickle, uh, sickle cell disorder now live, the life expectancy is above 60. Yes. Mm -hmm. 62. It's 62. Yes. It's 62. You know, so Nigeria society. needs to do yeah. sort of a coordinated program over time, you know, okay. to take, you know, advantage of uh, modern science right. and information. Right. Right. Okay, sure. my question goes to the doctor. Yeah. How about those who didn't have information and it's already manifesting because I read that they always go through these episodes of mm. crisis, which is pains, when the sickle cell blocks the blood flow, yes. either to the legs, to the feet. My schoolmate had it, but we didn't understand it as children mm. at that time. She was always having this Let bandage yourself. bandage on her feet mm. and it was swollen. And you know, in some people thought maybe it was uh, Obanji. Obanji that mm. attack, <laughs> or, uh, an attack that yeah. uh, Igbo Adaj, you know, yes. mm. that's how they call it in yes. Yoruba. Because they don't have information. Yes. So, what, so do what, what, do, what do they so, do? So, so, so back in the days, information was, 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 was very limited. Back, you know, a lot of our parents had it, they, they thought they were Obanji people. Okay. But, 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 but it's better now. People are getting more informed. Mm -hmm. if, 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 if you are taught health education in school, it's part of our, it's part of curriculum now, sickle cell disorder, it's part of the curriculum now, that people are taught clearly what is sickle cell, how did you get it, how do you help, how do you help, how do you help your, your neighbor? Because it's actually, is a family, is a family centered approach. Mm -hmm. it, it's an, it's an environment, it's, a, it's an environment, so it's only you. So the mother, the father, the child, the sisters, the brothers, family. the doctors, the family, the environment, because the school, the school because sometimes the crisis can start in school. Yes. yes. So what, what the teacher knows, okay, have you taken your water today? Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the children are very, you know, they, 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 they are very playful. They want to play like other kids. Mm. So you tell them, you can't if you're playing in that place, so have your, have your bottle of water close to you. Mm. If you run 15, 15, 15 minutes, run, I'll take, take, get your water to drink, okay. because the first thing that happens to a lot of them is dehydration. When the dehydration happens, there's hypovolemia, and the sickle cell happens because you, you, don't, you don't have enough blood level, in, enough, mm -hmm. enough HB, mm -hmm. and you don't have low volume again. What you have mm -hmm. in the sickles, when you have a sickles, there's, there's a crisis. Yes. So there's no pain, there's no plastic anemia, there's no sequestration, and it's preventable. And it's preventable. So it's yes, so everybody now, I've seen kids do well, lots of patients I have, but they've done well because they're informed, they have their water in their, so you know about they, they have their water in their, in their bottles. They have some painkillers with them too. So yes. if there's any pain, they take it quickly. 
and they treat malaria often. So they, they, see, they see their doctor. So don't wait until you are sick. Mm. See your doctor regularly. I think we can end up with that. But let us tell, what time is it showing tomorrow on, on TVC? Do you have the time yet? On TVC. Yet? We'll announce understand. it tomorrow, don't worry. Once we but get for time. me, I mean, it's a commemoration. <laughs> yes. It's not life and it's not death, you yes. know. We're we are celebrating. celebrating we are celebrating Amazing tomorrow. people. And people, people living with sickle cell disorder, you are not alone. Right. Yes, we are with you. We are with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. So the Thank movie premieres tomorrow. Please tell everybody to watch it. I'll let you know the time tomorrow once I get a time on TVC tomorrow. Uh, and also, uh, I would advise that you take it to churches and mosques. Yes, yes. And yes. also online to be nice for everybody to hear about it. Mobile phones. And mobile phones. Get, yeah. get people to watch it.